the truth is baby Cause you ain't never talking loud and you know plenty You know what I'm talking about cause you just get me Yeah, you so pretty If everything is dipped in gold Hey y'all, to my channel. Today's video is going to be a day in the life video. I wanted to bring you guys along with me for today. Maybe two days in my life, something like that. But today is really, really pretty outside. It is Thursday, March 28th. It is 63 degrees and sunny outside. So yesterday, me, Prince, where'd he go? Well, me, Prince, and my boyfriend actually went and kind of like enjoyed our day yesterday and went and rode my new scooter back here behind me. So we're going to go do that again today. It was really, really fun. Not wait to show you guys this new scooter that I got. Girl, I am in love with it. We had so much fun yesterday. So we're going to take Prince back on another little walk today, let him run around. Um, Y'all know I do got a dog park here, but yeah sometimes we dogs there and stuff and it's usually muddy out there so where we're about to go right now it's kind of like a lot more concrete and it is some grass and stuff out there but it's not as much mud as whereas the dog park is usually bigger dogs out there and it's so muddy out there it's just be a lot going on so we're gonna go to this other like open type of like parking lot type thing and just have fun let him get his little exercise in because y'all know prince let him run around like crazy so i'm going to show you guys the unboxing of this real quick and then we're going to get outside we get into this right display current speed display gear display battery power display cruise con cruise control no i'm gonna be cruising <laughs>
I cannot tell y'all how much fun me and my boyfriend literally had on this. We've been outside probably for a good two hours, just riding this, having fun, having prints outside. I love that it got a bell on it. It has headlights, tail lights. This little thing is insane. It goes up to like 20, 25 miles per hour. So I cannot wait to take this like downtown into like a big park and everything. So if you are like in a city or something, I feel like this is definitely a good investment. And thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video, 10 out of 10. So I came back home and started to cook me some dinner. Let me know down below if you guys want another cook with me video. A lot of y'all commented on my hibachi meal and said that y'all would love another cook with me video. So I was thinking of doing um, like some lamb homemade collard greens, homemade mac and cheese, like maybe all the fixings. And I'm thinking of doing that this week. So comment down below if you guys would like that. I see a lot of you guys enjoyed that video. It is at 2,000 views, a lot more than what I expected to get just for a freaking hibachi meal but yeah this is my first time ever cooking collard greens i wanted to do a trial run and baby 10 out of 10 i just made them a little bit too spicy Hey y'all, today is Saturday, um, April 6, 8, 11 in the afternoon. I woke up at like five, six o'clock. I had worked four days this week. So your girl's been tired. I have not posted no videos, been vlogging, none of that. Um, since y'all saw me, I think last in this vlog was when me and Bay kind of went out and enjoyed our day out in the sun with Prince riding a scooter, going to eat and I think I cooked some stuff. So today what I'm going to focus on is basically cleaning. So we're going to do a little like clean with me portion as well. Um, today is Saturday. It's 8 o'clock. Tomorrow Sunday. I do want to do a Sunday reset, but I don't want my Sunday 
to be strictly just cleaning, cleaning, because when I clean, I clean. And cleaning can take me like four to five hours. So it, it it's a lot if I don't start early. And tomorrow, I got a online grocery pickup. I wanna go get my nails and toes done. Um, Bay is gonna come after he get out of church. So like two o'clock-ish, one, two o'clock. Um, and I got stuff to put up like i just got a lot of other stuff to do on sunday and i don't have time to actually clean so today i'm going to clean in this vlog i'm going to be starting a new vlog um tomorrow so we're going to do a deep clean with me tonight um and yeah we'll see what else i have to do um i'm, I'm gonna cook again um so yeah i wanted to go to ulta and bath and body works today but it's eight o'clock and <laughs> you know it's everything's closed now or about to close so yeah i don't know um this vlog <laughs> i thought i was going to be doing something else in here but really everything that i wanted to do is not working out for this vlog so yeah all right i did want to show y'all that i changed around my living room like i said i need to clean up and stuff but y'all know my couch was facing that way so it went long ways and then it came down on this side so i feel like i have like a designated um living room now let me take y'all this way so where this little bitty white dot was that's where the couch was because i had um a little sticky so the couch won't move back and forth on the hardwood but anyways the couch used to be right here so i have so much more walk space turning this way so yeah, I like it. It's more walk space. Um, at first it took a little bit getting used to, but y'all know me. I love to switch around my apartment every like four to five months. I just cannot keep the same type of apartment. So y'all know I'm not able to change around my bedroom because I mean my bed has to go this way because of the TV. But since I just changed my living room around, y'all know I'm able to change around my guest room and stuff like that. Um, that makes me feel happy. I wanted to show y'all, I do want a new couch. I almost bought this new couch. Um, <laughs> last week they had a sale going on for the 25th anniversary. So I didn't do it, but I do have a sample from them. So this is the, um, it's the, I don't even want to tell y'all because I don't want y'all to go get the couch and it'd be sold out when I need it, okay? But it's going to take about three to four weeks to get to me when I do ultimately order it. Um, I kind of wanted it to be my either birthday gift, August 1st, or my Christmas gift. But I honestly don't think I can wait till Christmas because I really want this in my space and to have my apartment done because I do want to give a full apartment tour. But anyways, this is the sample that they gave. It's obviously white. The fabric feels so soft and smooth like i just cannot wait it's one of those big fluffy couch i mean not it's one of those big fluffy cloud couches um and i want basically the love seat with an l shape because this has been my smallest living room out of all of my apartments that i've ever lived in and i really don't like that <laughs> so I am gonna sell this couch and I do want a, basically a love seat and then I'm gonna get an L shape. So my new couch is gonna be basically this side and this side only. And then I'll have another piece for the L shape. I'm wanting a modular couch. So the modular couch, I'll be able to switch the L shape from this side and put it on this side. So with me getting that couch, I think I already told y'all, but you're able to obviously, like I said, switch the L shape so I can put it any which way in this apartment and it'll work out perfectly. Um, as well as when I do get married and get a house and stuff like that, I will be taking that couch to me and my husband's first home and you can always add more pieces to the couch so like i already have three pieces and then you can just add more pieces to make it like a full on sectional so that's why i really want this couch um it is expensive very very pricey like it was on sale but like honestly you're going to be paying at least like depending on how many pieces you get like my little three pieces is going to be when it's on sale 1700 if it's not on sale it's going to be like a little bit over two thousand dollars so I got a sample, I know what I want. Um, I definitely want this in here. Um, it just, it feels amazing. I'm glad that they do samples like this. So 
hopefully i'll be getting that this summer but i mean even when i order it i'm still not even going to get it up until three to four weeks so we're going to get to cleaning i do want to do a deep clean with me so before we get to cleaning though i do need to fix my hair um i'm about to sew up a track in the back of my head literally i think it was yesterday when i was at work like last night or something girl i don't know dang it i just made this come out I hate trying to get thread into a needle. Oh okay, gosh. so anyways, last night at work, or whatever night it was, night before last, I go to put my hair in a ponytail, and girl, what is this? <laughs> like, I've never had a track come undone in a sew-in, and y'all know I wear my sew-ins for like two weeks. So, yeah, that's not cute. I'm about to go ahead and sew it back because honestly, I'm, I'm really ready to just take this sewing out. Like, I got the hair to promote my, um, you know, straight hair or whatever with the raw Vietnamese hair and stuff like that with the woo. Um, but honestly, I was just, I'm honestly ready to take it out. So, I'm really ready to just dye my hair back blonde, honestly. Um, but I do have a lot of content and stuff to do this week, and it'll honestly just be easier if i have my hair basically already done because when i bleach my hair it literally takes that whole process takes about three to four hours definitely like four hours not even gonna lie so i don't really have four hours to just dedicate to my hair honestly this week so i'll probably do it next week but i am over this sewing because girl what the hell so i'm just sewing it back in um if i can get my hair braided down um i know somebody had asked me when i used to really do like a lot of hair reviews and stuff like that um i could really honestly probably sew in my own tracks if someone break my hair down because i can't cornrow so if someone was to cornrow my hair and then i just sew the tracks down i could probably do that like definitely like a traditional sew in not no like closure or anything because I used to make wigs and stuff like that when I was in college. Fun fact. <laughs> so, yeah. And I can't really see. I'm not really doing it, you know, too neatly anyway. Because I'm probably going to take this down next week. I'm completely over it at this point. I don't want to curl my hair. So that's why I'm like, girl, I got to sew this back in. Because I haven't had my hair curled yet. I'll probably curl it tonight. And then put in my little bitty heatless curler. And now I can't even tie this up. Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Done dealing with you, so on. It seemed like I get so much. I don't get It's the fact that I've been looking for my AirPod. My other AirPod, I only had one for the past two days. Y'all. AirPod been right here. 
on the table this whole time. I came home, I didn't search my car up and down. Like, girl, I've been looking for that for two days. It's 9.45 right now. Um, I do need to wash my comforter because I do have some new bed sheets that I got from Amazon. That's gonna be in my weekly vlog, probably not this one, because <clears throat> I wanna like put it all together when I got everything washed and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my comforter tonight. Um, my quiet hours do start at 10, but I do be washing it all times of night and I don't really think you can even hear it anyway and <clears throat> I want to go ahead and wash my comforter because this is the one from Target um <clears throat> I want to say like the threshold brand um, I'm just using this temporarily until I actually find me like another white comforter that I really want but anyways this comforter takes so long to dry no lie like it takes at least four to five hours to dry so I'm gonna wash it I'm gonna dry it once and then I'm just going to take it out and kind of let it air dry on the couch overnight um to kind of see because I do want it to you know dry for a little bit so I think my dryer stays on for like an hour and 20 minutes at a time so then after that hour and 20 minutes um, I may I may put it in there for another like 30 minutes but then after that I'm just gonna dry it <sighs> well let it air dry because this sucker takes forever it is so thick soft plush and yeah but i do need to wash it so that i can um have it to make my bed for tomorrow and i'm ready to get rid of these sheets too because i don't know what it is but it's i don't know these sheets are like giving off i don't even know what the i don't know <laughs> like it's like white stuff from it whatever the sheet is made of it's like getting all over the bed and those are queen sheets anyway y'all know i got them from home goods so I did buy some king sheets from Amazon and we're just going to switch those out. And I do have hella laundry to fold. So I'm going to finish cleaning up the kitchen and I'm going to straighten up the living room. The living room ain't bad, just picking up some stuff. And then we're going to come into my bedroom and I'm going to catch up on Chelsea Janae's, her vlogs. Um, and I like, to, I like to watch YouTube while I fold clothes so that I can be kind of productive instead of just laying in bed watching YouTube. So... I do want to go ahead and catch up on her videos. I'm like eight or nine videos behind, girl. Like, I've been working. I've been, I honestly just kind of been in a funk as well. I may actually title that video for next week, that one, like getting out of a funk. Because I've just been working, coming home, going to sleep, ain't been doing anything, and don't feel like doing anything. Like, I'm just <laughs> not really going through it. Y'all know my last vlog, I was kind of just, I had a bad week and a half because my cycle the Invisalign and everything was just, you know, going wrong. It's not a week like that. It's just a week of exhaustion, me being tired and me just, just needing to chill. So I haven't uploaded anything like this past Thursday. I haven't uploaded. Yeah. Anyways, I just need to get my life together and get out of my not wanting to do anything, looking at other like other people on instagram and stuff obviously i don't take anything on the internet serious like that but you know just kind of seeing people it just makes me feel like okay when someone like do a video or something like that i'm like dang like oh like i wish i don't know i don't even know how to describe it like for instance there's somebody who kind of like started youtube after me and she literally already hit like 100k on tiktok and like just all kind of stuff like that and like she's creeping up on like surpassing me with like subscribers and stuff like that like obviously not trying to outdo anybody but it's just like she definitely has been consistent and dedicated and it's like dang like that's what i need to get back to doing i have so much content y'all like videos reels tiktoks that i haven't i have edited some of it but like i haven't posted it and it's like what are you waiting on to post like just post and just seeing her and a few other people that's, you know, kind of like started after me or whatever. Anyways, y'all know, YouTube, I just took serious like a couple years ago. And like Instagram and TikTok and stuff like that, I'm really just kind of stepping into that. Um, and it's just seeing her hit 100K and it's like, oh my gosh, like, that could be me if you just stop being scared to post your content. Like, what are you scared to post home decor for? Like, <laughs> I don't get it. So, this week I don't go back to work until Friday. So, after... Sunday and Monday when I really record videos because I do got sponsorships so after this Sunday and Monday when I get done doing that um I am going to kind of like sit down and really get a plan I'm sorry this burp excuse me <laughs> really sit down and kind of map out a plan of how I want to upload my videos I did already do this and I was supposed to do this for the month of March like post every day for 30 days or something and then I was gonna do it for April so 
I may either start at the end of this month or just wait until May and kind of just throw out content every single day or every other day to really just elevate myself. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, maybe tomorrow planning out YouTube videos so I don't miss a Sunday and a Thursday. Specifically Thursday because I'll always post a weekly vlog if I'm not taking a week off that week. And yeah, just, just kind of getting my life together, getting back on my goals, what I said, what I see for myself, um, and trying to get out of that being scared to post because, baby, being scared ain't get me nowhere. And not even just being scared, but it's like, for a lack of better terms, being scared. And me just not putting in that extra little bit of work, you know? So that's what, like, my personal YouTube and, like, also my brand and stuff like that. So that's what I'm focused on. Um, I know that was just a random little rant, but... Yeah, that's kind of just how I've been feeling. I've just been like, just sitting down, looking at other people achieve the goals that I want to achieve. And it's like, Akira, all they're doing is posting. All they're doing is doing what you're doing, recording yourself and posting it. I'm just not posting. So we're gonna try to change that, especially for this year of 2024, because I will achieve the goals that I have set for myself. So let's get to washing, girl. Okay, so it is pause the video. It's 10 19. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair. I know it's late, but I do want to wrap it up in my um y'all know my heatless curler thing oh, curler thing that I got from Amazon. I always link down below. It's probably like personal products and beauty products. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and curl it. This is straight hair, so I do need to actually curl it in, like have it wrapped all night. Um, especially because if I wake up in time, and go, I'll probably go to church, but if not, I'll just watch church, um, the church service online in the morning because I still do want to do some things around the house. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna split my hair. I always split it in two. And then we're gonna brush her out. It's already really straight and silky, so. We're good on that. I did cut the ends of the hair um, because I had like a 22, 20, 22, 24 and the 24 inch was just, it was just looking really like stringy in the back of my head. So I just wanted everything to be the same length. So I see why people usually order like three bundles of like 20 inches and stuff because it just looks more uniform rather than having like 20, 22, 24 because it kind of just looks kind of what? It just looks really sparse at the end so when i do do my bundle deals i think i'm going to do bundle deals in the same length like 320s 318 322 stuff like that and then you know you can just buy like an extra whatever so yeah i'm about to just flip it in half i'm gonna start on one side i'm gonna do the other one so this one i'm just gonna clip up on this side i'm still watching chelsea janae i just washed my hair a few days ago like the bundles and stuff so i don't really want to put any oils and stuff in it because you know oils weigh down the hair so i put in a little bit when i actually blow dry the hair so right now i'm just going to leave it as is i'm going to put a little oil on my real hair up top and then when i do that that's kind of when i just bring it down and go like that so i don't actually just put oil directly on the bundle so yeah i'm not going to do this any type of i'm not doing this like in a fancy way because i just want just a little bit of curls and waves in my hair like y'all know i already don't like tight curls so i'm just going to do a little bit of a wave so i'm taking larger sections than normal and then y'all know i love <clears throat> my t3 that my cousin donna got me for christmas and this will be actually i'm about to split this one in two because the tracks are sewn in differently Cops that are outside. Bitches in my old phone. I should call one of y'all home. I've been in this love too. 
I've been drinking so much, but I'ma call you anyway, say 